Ever since my father's death, there has been a black cloud over my mind, obscuring each and every thought. When I took over the summer stables, there was much work I had to undertake to restore them. The grant I had been given by Lord Renly was fruitful, but even after the work began, it never felt the same. I continued my work, my bastard son, my badge of disgrace, growing into a bright young lad as it commenced. My wife didn't spend much time with me. She'd been promised to me. She was a fine and noble woman, but I don't think she cared greatly for me. Eventually, we were able to bring forth a child together. Young Arlen, the light of my life. As soon as I saw my young boy, my only thoughts were about him. Honouring him. Making house steed worthy of praise for him. As such, my armies were raised and my claim against the Lords of Thornton were pushed. Catherine had been in one of the houses to raise against Robert and fight us in the ruins at Summerhall. He fought at Ashford alongside us after some sobering up of the mind. But he had his head cut off by Lord Randall Tarley after the fight. I'm told it was mailed to the Mad King in celebration. I took all their lands with the aid of Lady Shira, a dear friend, and a one I would eventually name my daughter after. I cared greatly for her friendship. With Thornton taken, there was no longer any doubt about my claims and my title. With my children beside me, I was named Lord Giles of the Summerfields by my Lord Paramount Renly, and I have felt ever grateful for that honour. He granted me vassalage of House Grandison in Grandview as a further thanks for my aid and my swords. With the summer stables restored, I rested my blade until my lords needed of me. The my eyes can't help but fall upon the weakness around me and wonder, is it time to strike again? Each night my dreams go darker. I still see those ruins laying over me. The screams of the dead, the burning of the flames. I hear whispers in the corners of my wife turning against me, of my distant dynasty falling to ash. I hear stories of a dark time ahead for House Steed. I dream of far-off lands, with the steed banner flying atop mighty castles. I dream of Robert, the Robert I fought for, and almost died for, drinking himself fatter each day, slowly turning mad like the king he worked to replace. I dream of a dragon, its wings spread wide. But worse than all of that, I, I dream of being alone, silent and alone. As the days grow longer and darker, I hope to one day awaken from this nightmare. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a game of Thrones. This is a custom house playthrough as Lord Giles of the Summerfield. I want to thank you guys for the response to the first episode. I was expecting nobody. We actually got a couple people. Which, for somebody who's completely new to this, is wonderful. I've always been a fan of these kind of series. Uh, you know, watching them from <laughs> all sorts of YouTubers for most of my uh, sort of teenage years. And it's good to be able to have some people say that they enjoy my work. And so I'm going to keep try and keep up the quality, keep up the work for you guys. And uh, yeah, today we are going to be continuing the adventures of Lord Giles. Mr. Sylvester Stallone, if they ever want to make a movie about him, wink wink. <laughs> he has now sort of been elevated to the title of a lord through his conquest of Thornton, taking lands back from the traitors who once raided the fort in the ruins of Summerhall, and the Grandison who are the other ones who also fought there alongside the Felds. But where do our eyes turn now? We do have a claim on the Podding Field. We neighbour Blackhaven. And Adderall, Adderdale, if we wish to. I keep thinking Adderall, <laughs> if we wish to pursue those as options, but. What of us? Do we seek a conquesting route? Or do we trust that things will be as they are, that Lord Rennie will respect us? Because right now he apparently doesn't respect us. He's threatened by a fa claim fabrication that I made on, like, a random guy. <laughs> I'll try and sway him. But he, he isn't a huge fan of me, apparently, Lord Paramount Renly, so we'll have to try and get back on his good side. And Robert has uh, 
become a bit of a tyrant after killing, uh, well, a bit seemingly killing Sir Jamie and uh, sending Tywin to the wall. I wonder if it has anything to do with uh, his children, but his children actually appear to be his and the brown hair. And he, although is Robert attractive? Is Cersei? Okay, she got it. he got it from Cersei. Okay, we can calm down. We can calm down. It might actually be his kid. <laughs> well, let's uh, see where things take us. Gullion insists that I have to give him an old hat to fit. A very futile task, because he's too big for it now. I could get... He could get willful, but no. You're not even my kid. Yeah, why do I care? He's not my kid. <laughs> he's he is the child of my spy master. He's a child in my court, I guess, but he is certainly not my child. During the visit to the card of Lord Odysseus of Grandview, I seem to have managed to make him understand how I'm awesome. He is a decent steward, and I do... Oh, I need a treasurer. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I was going to make him Castilian, but uh, Harris can keep that job for now. My daughter Shara is responding well to uh, tutoring. So she's married to Barristan, or betrothed to Barristan, but the problem is Barristan is now just a uh, a sibling of the Lord, a third, a uh, second, no, a third, uh, third brother. So he is kind of useless. And uh, Shira was named after his mother, who was a dear friend of mine, but now her mother's dead. I am going to, I think I will break the proposal. Because she's very useful for a possible alliance. And I was about to say, who could we get her to? Because I was like, oh, we have the Errols of Wendwater again. So we could remarry back into the family. But the Lord Paramount of the Vale? I'm surprised that would even be possible. Or we could marry to Donal of the Iron Throne. Is Donal not next in line? Donal is next in line to the Iron. There's no way Robert would marry his heir to Sir Giles of Summerfield's daughter. <laughs> I think I have to be a little realistic with that, so I won't I won't marry to Donal, but that is very funny. <laughs> Let's see. Got a, lo a lot of... Um... Edma Tully as well, but Emma's far too old. Willis of the Reach... Willem of the Stormlands. Is that Renly's son? I think this would... If we could get this... I think this is the perfect marriage. Or, oh, sorry, betrayal. If we can get my daughter married to... Why is my wife the first option to pick? No, my daughter. Come on, Renly. You should like me. Let's uh, let's marry our uh, houses. Unite our houses. Wonderful. He's inherited cast with the tower fans. Okay, he's... What's going on? My wife said has stopped touching me or even looking at me and hey, what's that? Her and a foul spider, Sir Bryce Henry. I could get depressed, which is a terrible stat. I'm going to confront Sir Bryce. And also, apparently, I'm playing a board game at the same time. I'm going to kill Sir Bryce. You don't fuck with my wife. I'm ruthless. It was a long match and casualties both sides. Renly and I finally crushed our remaining opponents between our two armies. Thankfully, Renfrey understood what I wanted us to do. It was a brutal but a close match. Very good, Renly. Very good. Job well done. You see, okay, he doesn't seem to like me. A filthy adulterer, Sir Bryce, did not eat the poison shellfish. Though I hear some kitchen boy died later that night. Okay, I didn't become cool. We are going to kidnap this bastard. I'm going to kidnap him. And I am going to execute him. And I just hope and pray that my children are actually mine. The new Lord Commander is Sir Arnwell of Merriweather. Merriweather fleet's here, bro. This guy's what he's sending sick fans to torment me once more, spreading vile rumors about me. Screw you. What a mean guy. <gasps> we gotta bring him to my dungeon. 
What? I was about to say, I, f I thought he'd escaped my dungeons from what that first light said. No, he's now in my dungeons. The only appropriate act will be... I, don't, I have five tyranny, but he deserves to be beheaded. It's only the worthy fate for what he tried to do to me. Some peasants tell me while I was collecting taxes in the summer stables. Some peasants tell me while I was collecting taxes in the summer stables. Do I, do, do I lose the prestige twice? I do. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, all my prestige is gone. For some time now, my son Giles has been overcome with fatigue and troubled by a persistent cough. I've been informed that his system's due to... Yeah, let's get a physician then. He's my, uh, he's my second, right? Yes, he is. Oh, and Joffrey is... Oh. Well, Joffrey is of age, but Giles has died. Age At the age of one, he has died of pneumonia. And then immediately I have to go fight an attorney. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. That's quite sad. He is quite sad. It is King Robert of the Iron Throne says to Jasper. To the crowd shot, he summons the attorney field late and clearly drunk with blackberry wine. And with none of his armour and only slightly more of his clothing. He tries to mount his horse but trips and falls, unable to even ride. Lord Paramount Renly Baratheon seemed more displeased, publicly rebuking and disqualifying him from the attorney. Very embarrassing. So now Whitehead has used her attendance of a feast in Storm's End to present a petition for the Justice Cup before Lord Paramount Reddy's court. She demanded justice for your supposed crimes against her. A demand which Lord Paramount Reddy agreed to. I, why am I... I'm paying 20 gold to my wife for a crime I committed. What? <laughs> I assume it's for killing Harris, but imagine you're the Lord Paramount and someone comes to you, I demand recompense from my husband for killing my lover. <laughs> like, what? I guess I have to pay 20 gold. After arriving at Storm's End, the first thing that began in earnest, you are tilted up against many lesser knights throughout the day, most of whom you unhorsed easily. Now coming to the final rounds of this begins, and the opposition shall surely be more fierce. I shall ready my horse. I've been gone, drawn against Sir Andrew. You mount your charge, take a lance from the squire, and ride at the end of the list to Sir Andrew does likewise. Steady. Hit! I have expertly hit him right in the middle of his breastplate, causing my lance to shatter. And now I go up against... Oh, well, Lord Edric of Blue Grove. None could beat me. Am I the winner of the whole thing? No, I'm not. I'm not. That's merely... If they guide my lance without avoiding their charge. You expertly struck Lord Edric with your lance right in the middle of his breastplate, causing your lance to shatter into a thousand pieces as he sent flying from the saddle. None can best me. Mr. Harris has shut up his lace of ideas to me between the jousts. I do not know much of medicine, but perhaps he is onto something. He has asked for some money to develop his theory further and write a book on it. Hmm. I don't have much money, I'm afraid, Lord Harris. I'm not a rich man. Right, this guy I want to beat. Sir Joffrey Fell. We hate the Fellwoods. And he... Did he actually hit me? Yeah. <laughs> He's been declared the winner of the whole... I lost in the final! Oh, you are... You are kidding me. Okay, it wasn't... Thank God, if that was a final, I'd be furious. Okay. Two that's very Sir Balance One and Sir Mark face each other in the final joust. Sir Balance One is the winner of the Tony Sim. Sir Mark lost. So Sir Balance One. Is he the heir? No, he's just he's like he's a brother? He's a brother. Okay, there we go. What can I possibly do to endure to endear Prince Renu to me? I'm not particularly experienced to make people like me, but it cannot be that hard. Hmm. I'm not going to pick the one that's like going to make fun of him, because that's kind of stupid. It was a fault of a charity work on your behalf. It's proceeding well. The poor have been fed, and your pious standing has improved. Wonderful. And he hates me even more. Ah! Damn it. This man is not very good at making friends. Just look at him. <laughs> 
And I'm a little bit of a tyrant. But hey. That's life. Sometimes you just gotta kill a man who fucks your wife. <laughs> and now and now she's got it said, uh, oh, okay, she actually really hates me. Am I able to divorce her? What? Oh, accept my offer, I accept them. Can I gift him? Oh, that's a lot. It's a decent bit of money, but I think I want a divorce. Like, she hates me. Ugh, damn it. I'm going to fire her as a counsellor then. Lord Harris is a courtier and he's very good, but he also doesn't like me that much. Oh, because I killed his dad or something. <laughs> we'll get Boris in. We can trust Boris. Boris seems cool. This dude, he just keeps... He just keep, he's trying to round me up. Don't like this guy. <laughs> Let me found a new kingdom. They could host a summer fair, but I don't think that's much worth it. It's, it's prosperity, but money's better right now. It's decided to have Lord Ostwood where out of dire den arrested, but failed to apprehend him. But then he decided to go to prison anyway. Sounds about right. I might understand more about money than I do about people. It doesn't seem like I could nice Let's see. Come on. You you must like Tom about stewardship. Look at you. Hey. He's like, actually I do have stuff to learn for you. Now he slightly likes me. There we go. And we still have a steed daughter in line to uh combine our bloodlines. How wonderful. Now for my my own son, my heir. Uh, what are we looking at? As reigning lord, I rarely have time for the fair time, but for my son Arlen, I would move heaven and earth. How oh, wonderful. So if we were to get him his own bride, some ladies of the tyrant, uh, the tyrant, trident, appear to be available. Quite a few stormlanders. A valerian, if we wanted to get, um, that bloodline into our family. I mean, it's a very good bloodline. It's a very good bloodline. But we shouldn't be thinking about bloodlines in that way, you know? A little bit of me is actually thinking about bloodlines in that way. Brella. Is she a Baratheon? She is a Baratheon. Who's her father? Oh, she is a bastard, that's why. She's a bastard child of, of Robert. Doesn't make sense to marry my heir to, to a bastard, unfortunately. Lady of the Trident, Alona, with many, well, Edmund Tully died still, but that's sad. And then we obviously, Edmir is the next in line, but a lot of siblings, a lot of siblings, and they do have their own bloodline, so it's not a bad one either, actually. Hmm. A Trident marriage could be good. I do like the idea of getting some Valyrian blood in us, though. And they are attractive. <laughs> but I just think it's an interesting idea, though, isn't it? To, to try and get in with the Valerians, Try and get that Valerian blood in us. Because there's not much Targaryens left. You know, they're all going off to Essos now. Could be interesting. Could be a good idea. This, and these are all just like random courtiers, so they're not relevant. Hmm. Brella could be interesting, but she's a bastard, so I don't think that would make sense. Lady of the Laygood Keep. That's a Laygood Keep. Just a random place in the Reach. That is very odd. So just giving that to his daughter, apparently. <laughs> I mean, that would grant land, but it'd be, would give land to us being in a very odd spot, so it's not really worth going for that land, unfortunately. So I think it's between Baina, who is five years younger, or the four-year younger um, uh, Tully. I don't know if the Tullys make sense. The Tullys mm. wouldn't really give us uh, the alliance, though. 
Hmm. Lady of the Trident. Fuzzy. <laughs> I mean, she's more close to his age, but... I don't think it makes sense waiting until he's an adult to get this marriage done. I think it, is, it does make sense to try and get it now. Secure his future a bit. I think the Lady of the Tully does make sense here. We want the fussy one or... Yeah, she's older, so we will. Arrange Bucturable. Secure Arlen's future. Because Arlen is now a fortune marine heir after this sad death. And it does kind of mean that because this is a normal and not a matrilineal, that I need my son to live <laughs> so that the Steed family can continue. Lusanna is another of Sir Mark's paranoid delusions, but I have to agree when he invited me for dinner that the food had an odd taste and a rather strange lingering aftertaste. Someone might be trying to poison him. Hmm. Damn it! I was like, he's paranoid to give me money. <laughs> Oh, look, it's a sick uh, just same event over and over again. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep ignoring him. He doesn't even hate me! He kind of likes me. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing this then. Very odd. That was oh Davos died. The only knight is gone and replaced by Sir Dale of Rainswood. <laughs> it's got to my attention that nobody's been designated as the regent. Ah, you wish to be the regent. Well, you do like me. And you're pretty competent. A fine proposal. I'll allow it. Prince Renly's men have outdated drilling routines and it's almost embarrassing to see them in action. I could send him some books or maybe a commander to help get his men up to date. Yes. Absolutely. I will stop spraying as well because we kind of we, we, we got him now we got him liking it hey her though still no yeah that's tyranny to a prisoner as well unfortunate I could buy some upgrades but I think it is probably best how old is he? He's 11. So yeah, in a year, he'll need his education. So I've got to save like 40 gold for that. This dude again! Stop trying to torment me. So mean. Can't believe how mean that guy is. Let's collect taxes in the sum stables. Word has reached from you that your septum has given into weakness and helps himself to the arms he was meant to give to the poor. Hmm. He's an okay septum. I'll forgive him. For money. Here we go. Education. Best education possible. And let's see what he's going to be good at. Oh, you would be perfect for a soldier. Wonderful. Right, can we build any upgrades? Yes, we can. Let's get... Mm, private farms, I think, makes sense. Go get him them both upgraded. Very good. One afternoon, your wife comes over to you and begs a private word. And she also asks, allow you... She says that you ask her allowed to take a servant girl as a handmaiden. She says that she's become very fond of her and believes she would serve well and the two of them get along well. I would lose prestige for making her a handmaiden? I mean, I, I guess I'll do it. Very fractured relationship with the wife, but... Since I've been to Fordham, there's never been a short of soldiers reinforcing the troops after that. Under our guidance, they believe fame and fortune awaits them. Wonderful. That makes our army about 26k. Or 26k, 2.6k. Which is not the largest in here by far. It's one of the smaller of the actual lords. 
but it's, it's certainly a, a safe amount. I mean, I could go off the potting field, but I have a feeling Renly would be upset with me going after a potting field. He'd be like, you be a bastard. Stop it. Last me, he did have a vote on it, but I think he doesn't actually have to have the vote. It's a bit weird. Can I stand Lord Alaric? He's, yeah, I know he, he does indeed use every moment to insult me. Yeah, challenge him to a deal. Come on, coward. Damn it. Arlen shows every side of being fatuated with a Doria. He follows her everywhere and is seemingly smitten. Mm. It would make my son stressed to separate him from his lover. His lover who is of age and he's not. I don't think it's, oh, sorry, not his lover, but it's, you know, like a crush. Maybe maybe his crush will pass, I think. Go on, like, love your wife instead. Your, your to-be wife in many years. <laughs> Monthly bands going up and up and up. And for my daughter, she shall receive a good education. Not the best, but a good education. Nonetheless. And what's Joffrey up to? I could give a cadet le dis uh, dynasty to him. I mean... He's not really proved himself in, in any kind of way. It's okay prestige, I think it's okay combat. So he could be like a knight. Am I able to make him a knight in any way? No, he is a commander though. So you know, if we go to war and he proves to be a good commander, then maybe I could uh, allow him to be a cadet dynasty of us. As a reigning lord, I rarely have any spare time, but for my little daughter, I would move heaven and earth. How wonderful. This is just such a nice guy, you know. That's what we've learned. Straight his daughter to be evil. <laughs> Now, Intrigue's just a good one, uh, General. He's the favour to force him to join... Are you in a faction? That is... Let's double check. Oh! You know what? You're a chad. <laughs> you force him to join the Liege Loyalists. Thank you. What a nice guy. That means every single member of my... Uh, who serves under me is a part of Liege Loyalists, which is good. Wow, the Crown Loyalists are... Why are the Crown Loyalists and Liege Loyalists doing different? I suppose Liege Loyalists means that they are specifically loyal to Renly, and this means that they're just loyal to the Crown. Oh, this means they're loyal to probably the Emperor, maybe. I mean, I think I'll put myself as a Liege Loyalist for now. Again, I've, I've, I mentioned last episode that like, unless Renly does anything like majorly wrong, He'll be loyal to him. My father-in-law has died. I'm going to keep challenging him to a duel. See if he'll ever accept. There, we go. there goes my alliance with Weeping Town. Hey, Renly, Renly just loves me so much. A new daughter. Let's... We'll name some options that we have. Hmm. Milera, Shalena, Eleni, Floris, Eleanor. Eleanor Steed. We'll get you focused on etiquette. So I could give it 40 gold for 25 prestige. Local builds, cost modifier minus 15 for only two years, but the prosperity increases. I'm willing to do it. I, I think prosperity is a really important thing to have. Look at this. This is... It's doing great. Then my boss's son, Sir Joffrey, asked me for a fife of his own to govern. He would like the lordship of... Hmm. You are not ready yet. Harris has been a leal and loyal civil. Have you... Yes, we shall knight him. Or we could give him a title. No, let's knight him. Let's knight him. He's a good man. Discovered a promising candidate that could potentially be strong armed to joining factions that you support. Nah. 
I don't I'm don't need to strong arm anybody into joining the ground loyalists. <laughs> Sharishan's every f f child's being factured with Julian. So my spy master's child. How oh, sweet. Uh, no, oh, she is married, isn't she? Yeah, but maybe it'll pass again. The high realm authority law. He's just constantly increasing the authority. I don't know if I want my Jessica to hate me because he demands a vengeance. So. We'll pick the second best option there. <laughs> Kinda don't want to be uh, killed in my sleep. Oh, I, that was a mistake. I'm going to keep challenging him to a duel. I'll move him there when I can. That's a mis little mistake by me. A little misclick. When can I move him, actually? In a year. So the Lion of the Unworthy is inherited some titles. I've discovered a plot where Lady Whitehead She's trying to kill me. Yeah, I'm gonna imprison her. What's she thinking? I can call her for trial. Someone will give me a, a divorce, yeah, we'll call for a trial. About a trial before court, which the Harris has oversee. So the trial she is falsely accused of sedition and conspiracy against the realm, a charge brought by some large youth. She begins a prevent um, defence, and some decent arguments were made. For aggressively questioning the accused. Many of the court were convinced by his arguments, but many seem unimpressed. Ah You find her innocent, do you? And she's run away. And she won't come to my court. Why can I not divorce her? This really just doesn't make any sense to me. She's literally tried to kill me. Well, I'm going to plot to kill her. I, I'm fat? Ah, we're going to force ourselves. So we got, we got to fix this. He's becoming a glutton. Fat and stressed. What a this poor guy. These last couple of years have not been great on him. Things are he, he's spent all of his time trying to get his son ready, and in doing so, he's kind of become weaker and weaker. Oh my goodness! Oh, we'll get that in a second. I'll just say that you know he's his life's getting a bit worse, and now all of a sudden, war. The Romans said before the Iron Thread is involved in a great conflict against two. Oh, a lot of people. The Riverlands, the Reach, all standing against Robert. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess get the armies ready. Mark me and Thornton. I'm, sp I'm stunned. We must defend Lord Robert Honor. But has he truly become a tyrant? Oh, well, I was excited for something to happen. What just happened? Well, he's he's still in all these wars. Why are we not in these wars? R did Renly... Renly's abandoning his brother? Surely not. Well, well, uh, I guess we'll lower our levies. No, no, oh, no, we're back in the war. What is... <laughs> now it's a different war. <laughs> and now the Westerlands and Reach are on his side. What is happening? Looks like we had a... This, this bit is sometimes when the game just confuses me. If I was to attack him now, would I get like a little sneaky because he's not under the Reach? This is very naughty of me. To exploit the major war mechanics, but I think this might actually work, so I'm gonna do it. Because <laughs> I would like Podding Field, because as it says, my son is unlanded, and I think giving my son Podding Field makes sense. 
Because I could either give it to him or I could give it to my, my bastard, to um, Joffrey. See how Joffrey does in battle. And then maybe give Blackhaven to my son. Look, he's, he's become fat. His wife doesn't love him. His, his honor's going a bit out the window. He's a ruthless man. Conquest is on his mind. And he's... he's Honestly, after everything's happened, another battle in Summerhall. Lovely. After everything that's happened to him, he's, he's becoming more and more disillusioned with everything. With with, He believed he was in love. And then his wife betrayed him and tried to kill him. And he still can't get a divorce. <laughs> how, how is the plot to kill her going? Can you get anyone to back it? I have to pay you to back it? Ugh, not worth it. I'll keep it on the 60 and just hope. It's very, very sort of unfortunate how things have turned out for him. He needs to keep working out and hope that he can get things right. Because I, I haven't set House of Words for him because I was thinking that, you know, end of his life is when we can get the House of Words for him. I was thinking, end of his time. We'll see what, what house words reflect house steed. Or maybe, um, an idea is if, if people are still watching this, if anybody in the comments wants to suggest house words for house steed, I would love to hear them. Um, we will capture him. Victory! Uh, I'll take it for myself. And then it puts me over the mints, but now I can grant a knighthood to my son. Um, he's not a very good knight. <laughs> That's why I say I could grant him a knight, but he's not a very good knight, actually. But I will grant him a landed title of Podding Field. Congratulations, my boy. I don't think they need me for this war against this random one dude. Yeah, he's, he really is incompetent. So he's, he's served as my Castilian for so long, but he's becoming more and more just of an idiot. I think I'm going to replace him. I think I'm going to bring Joffrey in. Put my my bastard son as my Castilian, because he's, he's, you know, I want to keep him around. Ah, my charity is working. Oh. I'd like to be... The High Admiral. Very well. I've decided to institute the Diplomatic Committee Law. Uh, can I check what that one is? I don't know what Diplomatic Committee does. Um, I can look how the council's voting, right? Uh, more, a lot of people are voting yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll approve it then. And then you request my aid in the council. Nah, I'm cool. Your visit to the king may throw out the reach. I don't really care about Mace liking me. Wait, wait, wait. Mace is an emperor? Are they independent? Did Robert just acquiesce to their terms? Is that why? So I assume he's independent because of the war. And Tyrion apparently died already at eight, only age 32. Goodness. So it's Lord Stafford in command, but... What's even going on then? So I assume everyone's apart because there's a war, but the Reaches apparently... Unless they're already so big that when they like break a pen event, they become an empire, but surely not. But for now, Mace is, I think Mace just in general may be a, an emperor. Interesting. The Emperor of the Reach? An independent nation? Surely that can't last. I know for a fact that uh, we're not going to be too happy about it. Well, Trident is also not being reabsorbed. Is the Trident independent now? What is going on? 
Duskendale's also staying independent? Is it because they're at war? Okay, he's, he's at war with Robert. Okay, Robert still has a lot of wars, in fact. But he has a... War of Reachman Independence with a truce. So I guess, yeah, the Reach is independent. And an empire, all of their own. This is... Very, very interesting. My boy has had a bastard. He's taken after his dad already. So Joffrey is... Because his daughter is... The trip is only 13. And he's decided to go have a bastard. What if... Hang on. I'm going to tell him the name is Bastard after my wife. <laughs> Oh no, he's already taken after his dad. Let's see, can we get Joffrey a wife? Hmm. Or can I just allow him to marry, right? Uh, just marry who you want, my son. I could propose a foreign tour to him. That's interesting. What does that do? Off to find a fund the tour of foreign lands so that he may learn and become a better man. Yeah. Actually, that sounds cool. I mean, I've been saying that I wanted to find something for him to do. Why not send him to explore the world? Unmarried heir. Yeah, because he can't marry yet. That's why. He'll be married. He'll be married when he can marry. Your bastard son has recently sent word from Old Volantis where he's just arrived on this tour. He says he's currently joined the hospitality of the Triarch. Do your house proud, my boy. Hmm. Alright, I forgot to move him. I said I was going to move him and then I never did. That's ADHD for you. <laughs> What's Renly thinking of me right now? Still cool with me. Lovely. Oh, he's even invited me to a feast. Let's go to the feast. An independent reach of all things. I can assure you Lord Gals is not going to be happy about an independent reach. I'll tell you that now. Some say it was suffering from a serious problem of crime and banditry. I'll deal with this myself. Mm. I had a lovely dinner. But. Who? It's a Lady Lionette, sure. Why not? So basically, Renly just told my wife to shut up. Hell yeah. It'd be so cool if we could get divorced. <laughs> Why? Do I have to give you more money? Have money. Let me get divorced, please. We hate each other. She's a kid. She's committed crimes. Ugh. Anyone want to join my plan now that they see how evil she is? Nah. I'm not going to pay money to kill her. <laughs> she even tried to kill me. But for some reason, the trial didn't work. I should have just made myself the Lord Commander for it, you know? Would have been fair. Joffrey could be my bodyguard. And my son will be my Castilian. Very good. I hope he's working off this fat, because he's it's not just that he's fat, he's also stressed, the poor guy. Oh, he's going everywhere. Go on, lad. It seems that the spymaster of Lord Paramount has sent to investigate rumors of a plot. And she found nothing. Just duel me, bro. Duel me. I beg. 
just refuses to duel me. I will find a way to kill this guy. Just keeps insulting me over and over again. He's been the... Hmm. I don't want to give him a Thornton. Fine, I have gold. Apparently 10 gold is equal to a title. <laughs> Excuse me of... What? Huh? I did nothing. What? What has even just happened? I didn't even want to read aloud what the game just accused me of. What? Huh? Is there not an ambition to be free? Um. I, I can, I can hardly believe what I'm seeing. What the game's accused my character of doing. And I can't afford the ransom. He still likes me, but like, jeez. This could take ages to earn the gold here. So I'm just in prison for something that, I mean, unless it was the girl at the party. If so, that event, uh, he demands I stand trial. Hmm. I'll make a quick save here. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I don't know how to try by combat. I can fight. I know I can fight. Lord Giles. After the consideration council, I've decided to enact a law change succession in the Iron Throne. Well, here this. <laughs> so he had... A uh huh. Wait, why is Stannis your heir? Just by exclude. Wait, wait. Excluding daughters makes Stannis your heir, even though Donald took up the white. Why did Donald do that? He was heir. Both of his sons. What is Robert? Did Robert make them take up the white? So Robert's sons took up the white, and now Stannis is his heir again. This is truly something. What? His son refuses to marry my daughter? No. Oh. Damn it. What? Why am I why am I defending myself like this? I literally said that I was Okay, I, well I guess I'm innocent, but I picked a trial by combat. Was that refused? Because I don't think that's how it works. Well, I'm free to go at least. I I don't know if I'll uh, mention that bit when they write his story. Jesus, that was a bit dark. Damn game. I assume it must have been that girl. Which which if that was the case, then oh my oh my lord. This man is in a a deep spiral of things. Things are not going well for him. It's come to my attention that the Jessica Broad Arch has bribed and threatened his way through my domain, trying to get enough people to recognize a claim. So now Broad Arch has a claim on me. Bring it, bro. I hereby invite you to the wedding of Sir Roy Waters and Princess Shireen Baratheon. I guess I'll go to the wedding. So Stannis is still... Yeah, Stannis is his heir. That makes Shireen also the heir. Is Shireen marrying... Oh, no, Stefan is now the heir. Okay. I guess this, this would be my first time seeing uh, Robert in quite some time. Roy Waters. Oh, that's... I enjoyed... Pat's... Stannis is company and we talked to the guard for several hours until we both fell asleep. Maybe because of that brandy we drank. Uh, I guess the honour of men does mean that Stannis has brought me to it. Wow. There's something... There's more I spend it. I feel... Nord Ireland feels neglected. 
Stop complaining. I've lost just. I guess after everything that's happened to me, maybe I, f I feel that things aren't just, but... You know... It's interesting. Yeah, I get a hundred gold from my son on tour. Thank you, thank you. Wonderful. You're still not ready, though, for, for any sort of land. <laughs> I was going to build. Let's build these stables. What's happening? They're almost in a state of war again. The Unthrown has aborted a great conflict. Is this actually a great conflict, though? He's already imprisoned. The, the, he's, I cannot express that he is... The man you are fighting is in jail. He's in Mace Terrell's jail. Like... I can't believe the Reach is, is independent in the first place. This, this alone is, is, is changes things. Mace has already become a far greater man than the books have him be. <laughs> it's not escaped me that several of your commanders lack formal military training in military tactics. I would like to offer my services in training them. Most generous offer. Well, I think that this war against the Iron Isles will most likely go well, but the summer fields have continued to grow, and while this episode I think has been a little less triumphant than the last one, we did still take some land, and we now are looking at a 46-year-old Giles who has sort of had a lot of troubles. His wife has tried to kill him. He's been accused of horrid things, which he may or may not have done. The man's becoming too drunk and stressed to even know what he does nowadays. There's still time for him. Can he right the path and become the man he's meant to be? Before it's too late? Or will we have to hope that Sir Arlen is the one who can restore the honour of House Steed? We'll just have to find out next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you soon.